All right, guys, how y'all doing today? So the project we're going to try today is like a barbecue fork or something. It's going to be something similar to that. I've got a picture here of what I want to try. Right here's the picture. And I'm going to try something simple with a little bit of a twist on there. And then, you know, maybe just a simple little loop at the end. Nothing too wild on the first one. Uh, if they seem to be fairly easy, we'll try and fancy one up in another video. But I just want to go for the basics right now. And uh, we'll see how that comes out. So let me get you set up here. All right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, see if we can't get, I don't know, about an inch or so of that cut down in half. Put this back in the fire for another heat. Well, I had to stop and take a break, guys. I had somebody call the fire department on me. First time it's happened to me. Um, but I don't know. They said they seen smoke coming out and uh, figured they needed to call. One of the neighbors said that. So anyway, I guess we'll get back to this project not really coming through straight where I screwed that up so guys if you see that there and then you flip it over and you see it there this is the better way to see you can see it's not very straight at all so I'm gonna whack that end off and we're gonna come back and I'll do it with a chisel the whole time all right so let's see here So let's start over. All right. So let's see here. That looks fairly good there in the middle. Oh, yeah. All right, so we got a good start there. We're just gonna throw it back in the fire and uh, get that cut through. All right, sacrificial piece down. She feels like she is bottomed out, but I don't see. There she goes. All right. There we go, guys. We'll start drawing them out to little fork times. Son of a gun. I'm going to lose all my heat. There we go. Get them out like that. All right, we've got them spread out. 
Now we can start drawing them out into our little fork times. Drop the camera and lost some heat. Let's get these drawn out a little bit. Get some more heat. I don't know if I got enough, I took enough material or not. It's gonna be iffy on material. Let's get let's continue drawing them out and we'll see. We're gonna draw them out some more. Ooh. All right. Quarter. And this one is a little bit longer. So we'll take and point, once I point this one out a little bit, they should be about the same. Alright, let's just take this over to the horn, give it a few taps. We're going to take and bend these tines kind of around where we want them. Alright. Doesn't look perfect. After we're done, I'll even these up on the grinder. Um, kind of even these up they're fairly even now but I'll also take and just put a point on that since I burned it off no big deal this is just a practice one that I want to practice doing see just see if it's something that's feasible for me at the moment to put on my Etsy shop for a decent amount I may need to practice with them a little bit more but that's good for there now we need to determine how long we want this thing. Um, I'd say probably 
12 inches on here, which would put us there. Put a couple twists in and then leave an inch there to draw down for our, uh, what's it called? Our loop at the end. Well, put this there. This thing's a little toasty on that end. All right. So there that is. What is that saying? Maybe that means my memory card's full. 9959. But the phone's still saying it's recording. I don't know. I'm going to stop here, guys, for right now, because I'm not sure what's going on with my GoPro. I might set my phone up. All right, well, what, quite, what, I'm not quite sure what was going on there. Sorry about that, guys. I'll put this on just to hold this real quick. Straighten out this tooth where I dropped it. All right, so I'm going to cool this end down so I can hold on to it and start forging out this other end. All right, guys, well, I'm sorry. I thought I was hit the record button. But I didn't. What I did was set that down, come over here to the edge of the anvil. I took about an inch of material and I did half on, half off blows to make this set down area. And now what I'm going to do is just draw this piece out here to a little rat tail. All right, guys. I'm just going to set this down. Side. That side. Ah. Whoop. See if we can't get this centered a little better. As I lose most of my heat. We're just going to keep going down with that. Now I just took off the corners so we can begin rounding that down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come over to the horn, we're going to bend it that way, make our loop, and give us a little bit of wrap around. Should I do that before 
I twisted that one. Because I'm going to put a twist here and a twist there. But that will give me some place to hold on. I'm going to hold off on doing the loop there. I'm going to come and put my twists in here through this midsection. And then we'll twist it. That way I can clamp from either end. Clamp it in right there. We're going to give her a twist. Let's do something right there. Looks good. Hey, car small brush if I can get over here to it. Good brush. Take a look down it. Give her a straighten if she needs it. All right. So there's that end. going to come up here and attempt to do one the opposite way but I always mess it up so we will see well guys I apologize I missed that last I, I forgot to press that record button again but there is the nice twist in there and now what I'm going to do is come up here and just soften these edges here and here and then we'll bend our uh, little loop on the end and this project will almost be finished all right guys don't need a whole lot of heat we recording yeah we're just gonna come in through here and like I said just soften them down a little bit Got that here. We could give her a good brush. There we go. I am gonna tweak them tines a little bit because this one looks like it comes down a little further than this one, so I'm gonna get a pair of pliers and tweak at. Alright guys, so my GoPro died, but here is my uh, phone. We're just going to soften these back corners, same as we did the front. Make sure we're straight still. Goes off a little bit that way. All right. Give that a quick brush. And I'm going to put it back in the fire real quick while I uh, find my touch mark. And we're going to put my touch mark up here before the loop. All right. Quick brush off. Lay this up there like that. Drag it back. Put it somewhere up here close to the top.
while she's driving in there. All right. So, let's see here. Can you see that? There is my touch mark. It's just a teardrop. Now we're going to come up here and put in our uh, loop. All right, so I just got the very tip of it heated up there. And we're just going to come over here and drop it down almost to a 90. Not much. That way we can bring it around and our loop will almost be central. So I'm going to try and turn you to the horn because that's where we're going to come next. All right. Now we're just going to take them start making our loop with it. Alright, and there we go, there we've got our loop. Now I'll take and heat, oh that's a little hot, I got too close. Heat this part up and just wrap it around. All right, guys, I got it hot. I'm going to cool off the hoop so it'll only bend where I want it. Got a little bit of crud right in there. Alright guys, so there it is, wraps around there a little bit, I kind of like that, uh, if I were to do it again I definitely want a little more material there, hold on, alright, so here it is. I don't know if you can get the whole thing in shot. I like it for my first one. Um, the rings, okay. I kind of like how it wraps around, but I, I wish I had a little more material to wrap that. So now I know when I take material to draw down for this, I need more than an inch, probably. I don't know, probably two inches would give me enough to make something neat, you know, just kind of vine it down maybe, vine it down maybe closer to here uh, would look better. But there that is. I'm going to run and get it dressed up on the wire wheel. I'll be right back to show you the finished product. All right, guys. So we've got it all finished up. Here it is right there that looks pretty cool to me I like the twist in there I thought I see I thought I did it wrong at first but it come out just the way I wanted it I twisted this one a little tighter than that one but that's it's no big deal this is gonna be my first one uh, I really like how it came out uh, like I said before I wished I had a little bit more to wrap that but the more I look at it I just kinda really like that uh, the hoop is fairly center on there. You know, if it hangs, it'll hang pretty straight up and down. So, I am very happy with it. With this, I would probably just rub it down with some olive oil or something. I like the wire brushed finished finish. Uh, to me, that looks pretty nice right there. Definitely something that I would pick up. So I'm probably going to take pictures of these and put them on my Etsy store. A couple things I would do differently going forward, especially with trying to make them to sell, is instead of hot cutting this, I would just run this through the bandsaw real quick um, to take the material. And I would definitely take a little bit more material just to allow for human error. 
when you know because these these points are fairly even this one's just a touch bigger which I could take it over to the grinder and fix that real quick or a file fix that real quick but I like the shape of that um, you know if I had a little bit more length you could make them look a little more decorative but to me this is very functional it'll definitely do the trick uh, you can roast weenies over the fire with it or use it on the grill as a fork for your grill um, I re like I said before I really like the twist and I like that I like how my maker's mark come out right there and I was able to wrap it right underneath uh, just looks really nice to me so I hope y'all enjoyed this video guys um, you know I'm trying my best to get home and have time to jump down here in the shop and make something uh, I've got a knife video coming out I'm actually in the process of filming that but it just it's gonna take a little bit longer than you know throwing something this together because when I do a knife, a knife, you know, you gotta let it anneal and everything like that. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I'm trying my best to get some content out for y'all. See y'all on the next one. Have a blessed day.